Hello and welcome to the first part of our onboarding series. Today, you'll get a quick overview of how to set up and render a simple scene using V-Ray's powerful visualization tools. Let's get started. Now that you have installed V-Ray for 3ds Max, set it as the renderer for the scene and choose the resolution. Next, go ahead and select V-Ray as the default renderer. As you can see, V-Ray's tools are all displayed on this toolbar. If you prefer, you can place it to the side. You should now choose an angle in your viewport. When you are happy with it, navigate to the V-Ray physical camera icon from the toolbar and set up a new camera. Click on V-Ray's camera lister to open a window where you can adjust settings such as focal length and exposure. The easiest way to bring some light into your scene is to click on the sun icon in the toolbar. This will let you create a sun and sky system. To preview the result, just enable interactive rendering inside the viewport. To control the sun's direction, drag the gizmo arrows in the viewport. To change the sun's settings, open V-Ray's light lister and edit them from there. Want to add life and interaction to your scene? You can rely on Chaos Cosmos, an extensive library of ready-to-use, high-quality 3D assets, materials, and HDRIs. Just drag and drop them into your scene, and you are good to go. To add another level of realism, enable V-Ray's Aerial Perspective from the Environment settings for a fast and easy method to bring depth to your image. Go ahead and change the distance to get an idea of what it does. Now that you have everything set, you can move on to rendering. So far, you have set your resolution and you have used the interactive renderer directly in the viewport. To create a high quality production render, you will have to stop the interactive renderer and start a render from the V-Ray toolbar. This will open V-Ray's frame buffer. This is V-Ray's frame buffer or VFB for short. From here, you can easily adjust the final look of your render by adding adjustment layers and much more. VFB also lets you save your images to the hard drive in your preferred format. That's a wrap for the first part of this onboarding. I hope you found it useful. 